Hello. Welcome to the information session for AUR 20720, Certificate 2 in Automotive Vocational Preparation. During this session, we're going to cover some interesting items of what the course is about. But before we do that, let's acknowledge our country on which we are training. Box Hill Institute acknowledges that all our learning sites are situated on the ancestral lands of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. We pay our respect to the traditional custodians and extend that respect to their elders past, present and emerging. Become a tradie at Box Hill Institute. This is all about learning on the tools in real deal workshops. Our course is about automotive. What does the course actually involve? The VDSS automotive program is an industry endorsed program for secondary school students aiming to enter a career in the automotive industry. This training covers the skills and knowledge required to perform minor maintenance and repair of an automotive vehicle. Some of the topics covered include the use of workplace tools and equipment, servicing and inspection of engines, transmissions, cooling, fuel systems, steering suspension, and many other items on a motor vehicle. We also discuss effective workplace communication and customer relations skills. Are there any industry pathways after you complete your studies? Yes, your future study could include Certificate 3 in Light Vehicle Mechanical Technology. Employment opportunities means that that will give you an in to the automotive world of being an automotive apprentice. An automotive apprenticeship is a four year course, three years of which is at school or TAFE doing your schooling. And one year of providing a payback to your employer for having you as a apprentice for that period of time. It's during this time that you will be able to gain the skills to enter and continue on after you complete your apprenticeship in a number of different areas. That areas may be a heavy vehicle technician, a light vehicle te technician, or a bicycle or marine or motorcycle technician. These are all areas that aren't covered by Box Hill. The only area that Box Hill covers is the light vehicle course. As I said earlier, it's a four year course and three years of TAFE training. Our facilities at Box Hill are in a fully equipped simulated workplace, and it, it's something that reflects the standard of the industry workshops that you might find out there today. If you have a look at some of the dealerships, you will see similar layouts for their workplaces. What do we expect of you as a result of joining us here at Box Hill? Well, as a student, you are expected to be here in a punctual manner and arrive on time. Depending on when your course is starting, we have two sessions. We have the first one starting at 8.30 in the morning and finishing at 12.30. Then there's the afternoon session that starts at 1.30 in the afternoon and finishes at 5.30. What we do ask is that if you're unable to attend, that you make contact with your trainer or Box Hill and let them know that you will not be attending. We do have some specific 
PPE requirements or the automotive program. PPE is personal protective equipment. And for the automotive program, we require that you have a pair of safety glasses, clear lens, steel capped work boots with a leather upper, long cotton drill shirt, long sleeves, and long cotton drill work pants or a boiler suit overalls type all of which must be of a industrial quality. We're not allowed to have jeans or shorts. And you can wear a wind cheater, but we cannot have hoodies or nylon or polyester blend type uh, jumpers or similar. During the first year of your training, as a vet in schools student, we cover eight units. And the eight units are shown here on this particular slide. The second year students, we have a total of six units that you will cover. Integration with your VCE and VCE VM. What it does is on successful completion of this program, you'll be eligible for recognition of two units, one and two, and units three and four sequence. Students who receive a three and four sequence for certificate two in automotive vocational preparation will be eligible for an increment towards their ATAR, approximately 10% of their lowest study score of the primary four. The increment is awarded by the Victorian Tertiary Admissions Centre. And if you go to the VTAC website, you can find out further information. The VCE VET Automotive Program does not offer scored assessment. You're either competent or not yet competent. The course will introduce you to the world of motor mechanics. You'll be performing servicing tasks, servicing vehicles, wheels, tires, learn how to solder, read a multimeter and test batteries. They're just some of the items that you will cover during your course. At various times, we may have industry coming in where suppliers attend the college to, to display and present new industry technologies. The venue is here at Box Hill. Building two of the Elga campus. The course length is part time two years. The only day you come in is on a Wednesday. I've mentioned the times earlier, but 8.30 till 12.30 and 1.30 till 5.30. Stationary, make sure you bring a couple of pens, blue or black are preferred, but just make sure you bring them please. All our teachers that deliver these courses are all qualified mechanics and have a teaching qualified and a vast experience in their field. We look forward to seeing you in your journey of joining us on this program. Thank you.